This season recap is full of fun, fights, what was that? and facing fears. What are we waiting for? Ruben surprises Eileen with an unexpected gift. Me and Eileen have a puppy. Oh, you and well, Eileen me and have Eileen. a puppy. That's just my little puppy um, that Ruben got me. It's a very bold move by Ruben because Ricky is still shook to this day. And Armando has a new love interest. Whatever happened to Brianna? So are you gonna shoot your shot? Lourdes is surprisingly calm. Then later, Rick gives Lourdes some exciting news. You know, I have a vacation coming up pretty mm -hmm. soon, and it's our anniversary. How about going to Hawaii? Are you serious, babe? Hawaii? Yeah, let's do it. I'm also available that day, and Eileen and Ruben take their relationship to the next level. I like this relationship that we're having. Making memories. Making memories, there we go. No one has ever done that to me but you. Aww. I'd like to thank you for that, and I love you. Oh, I love me too. Lourdes and the ladies look for the perfect second wedding dress. So do you guys know what color she's wearing? I think she wants to wear white. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> she's too old for that. You're not a virgin no more. You have a 17-year-old <laughs> daughter. <laughs> I know, it's too yeah, quinceanera. It's, quinceanera. it's so that's extra, that's like imagine. You look like a 40-year-old quinceanera. <laughs> I feel like it's too virgin for you. It's a no for me. Exactly. I'm very happy it's on a white dress. <laughs> you know, my third wedding, white dress for sure. Oh, <laughs> I know, I love it. The family plus Ruben heads to Hawaii. Time to go, let's Mando. go, baby. You're the Mr. Big Boy. Aloha! So Lily and I were trying to be Instagram models. It's like a normal, oh my god, taking the view, walking the beach, and then you just turn around and they're like... <laughs> Everyone takes in the sights, but a jungle expedition almost pushes Lourdes over the edge. Oh my god! Oh my god. Ah, you guys can't do this to me. Whoa. I can't see this. We're not even at the top. Oh no, I can't even see this. I no, sister, you have to. I can't see this. Oh, no, 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 I can't. Wait, this wasn't Ooh, as high as the other place. Oh my god, you guys don't understand. I am terrified of heights. And as soon as I turned around, <gasps> I just saw the view and it just freaked me out. Mm -mm. Just look. No, just you guys don't understand. I, oh, I guess it's like this. Oh, you guys don't understand. I can't do this. The ladies get laid. Are we getting laid? You're getting laid! Yes! yes! Finally! And channel their inner hula goddesses. Kind of. Three, four. My pants, hold on. <laughs> Two. Panic. Pause one more time, because, oh, well, no, you do keep teaching Literally, them. I am leaving you behind. Mm-mm, she can't dance. I'm really trying. I'm really, You're doing really trying. great. One hand is to your chest and the other is... Literally, okay. get out of my face. <laughs> oh, I get it. Oh, okay, I get it. It's describing nature. It's hot. It's hot. Ooh, the wind. The wind. The water. The water. The wind. The sun. The water. That is not the water. <laughs> then, family dinner gets serious when Lourdes confronts Eileen over something shocking she saw online. What's up with that spam account that they created for you? Yes. What spam account? So this morning I woke up to a bunch of messages from companies and owners that we work with, and I realized that there is a spam account. On the page was a bunch of screenshots of tweets that I had put out defending myself from a video. Okay, let me explain to you. We were in class, and then this girl was in there. She wasn't even in the class, and she was with two other so girls. So she wasn't even supposed to be in the class. She wasn't even supposed to be in there. My group was being noisy, and she was telling everybody, like, to shut the f up. Like, I felt like she was throwing it at me, so I said something back. At school, it's normal for somebody to say something under their breath or bump me, give me a look. You know, like, just stuff to pick on me. At first, it wasn't, like, that much of a big deal. It was kind of just like a little bickery thing, but she started saying stuff about my mom and that triggered me. I'm not proud of what I did. They try to pick on her, they try to pick her, and once she reacts to exactly. a situation, yeah, they're trying that, that's to create the spam account and make yeah. her look bad. And like, this is why I'd rather just be homeschooled. Maybe now, Lourdes will let Eileen be homeschooled. 
You already know who I am, okay, and it's Aileen, gonna happen but what, again. what is that gonna stop being homeschooled? How is that gonna stop being it, Eileen? You're gonna run into haters people? no matter what. Maybe not. Lourdes decides it's time to face her fears. If I freaking die because of this Lily, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Feel free to go, no hands. You guys ready? No. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. Eileen and Ruben break away for a little one-on-one -on -one time. What was your favorite part about this trip? Spending time with you. Same. Oh, you're so cute. You say you love Ruben, but why? It's because I feel like Ruben came into my life when I needed him the most. He just made me realize like that I am loved and that, you know, there is gonna be someone there for me. And I wanna be with you forever, so. <laughs> Lourdes replaces her lost wedding ring and the family has mixed reactions. My That's wedding cute. ring. That's, That's nice. gonna be your wedding ring? Yeah, my ring. It's appropriate, right? We're, we're here in Hawaii, mm -hmm. right? This but that's not there. like a, a real like Yeah, that's ring. not like, that's just like a, a wedding ring. Like, yeah, it was yeah. It's cute to be on the beach, but like... Well, I can tell you something. If we don't have a ring, I'm okay because I haven't had a ring in over 10 years. In case Ricky doesn't bring it, I just didn't want to have a ceremony and there's no ring. So it doesn't bother you. The point is that we are celebrating our 18 year anniversary and that makes me happy and that's it. They are a tough crowd. Lourdes hesitantly lets Lily do her makeup for the big day. How do you feel? Nervous, you have no idea. I just want Lily not to mess up my eyebrows. Stop, you're making me nervous. Aline, what do you have going on with the hair? I don't know, girl, I'm just curling this. <laughs> but you're literally like gonna tangle her hair. No. Oh wow, Aline, well, now you're gonna tangle my hair. And it looks fine, Alina. Watch when you look cute. You'll send a picture to Brandon. Brandon! Cut. She has a little crush on a little boy named Brandon. I already told her in summer, like you're not gonna be able to see him anymore. She's like, it's okay, I can see him in the yearbook. <laughs> You are so rough on people's eyes. You're I'm like not. this. Actually, I'm not. Everybody always tells me I have a no, light hand. No, dude, you're not being light on my eyes. So, how did you meet your husband? Well, remember he said he saw that ass? Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Listen, when you know, you know. It's almost time for the ceremony. But first, Lourdes has some exciting news for Eileen. I just want to let you know that I made my research. I made, I made some phone calls. And um, I found you a good um, homeschool program for you. Really? So, yeah. I just need you to be responsible. I wonder if that'll come up again. Lourdes and Rick renew their vows, but Rick has one final surprise. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> you got me a ring. You got me a ring. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Armando, real men cry. <laughs> it was like a movie, but like one of those like parody movies. How she reacted. <laughs> it's exactly how I picture she would. You can always count on Lily to bring us back down to earth. Eileen starts homeschool, but it isn't at all what she expected. And then remember, you have to start your class right now. Did you get your teacher's email? Yeah. Okay, well, you need to start already. And also, don't forget, you need to post for social media later on today. Oh, my God. All right, bye, guys. I'll right, see you bye. later. Bye, Eileen. Bye, Eileen. Thankfully, Lily comes over to help her prioritize her time. Oh. I feel like I haven't seen you. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to go to the mall. Okay. Oh, and then I actually do want to get my nails done because, like, these are gross. I'm down. And we can tell her, though. Hey, what's up? Well, did you start your classwork already? A She's little. She's taking a 15 minute break. taking a break, yeah. How are you taking a break? Lily is a major distraction right now. She needs to be in class for at least four hours. And I came over here because I told her I wanted to go to the mall and I want to go get my nails done. And like, I don't understand what the big deal is. You're such a major distraction, Lily. Seriously, I'm very upset right now. You're just mad because I didn't invite you to the mall. Somebody get a grill because we've got beef. All the women get together and talk to Eileen about a very important topic. Uh, birth control. I'm a big advocate for it. My experience, I planned my kids. I struggled when, and I was 23. <laughs> I unexpectedly got pregnant at 22 and it was like, 
It wasn't in your plans. I wouldn't have had kids now if I didn't have to, like if I wouldn't have ever had Zeke. I was the only one of the sisters that got on birth control that said I'm not going to have kids until I'm ready and my partner is ready. Therefore, I don't say, I wish I had them a little bit later in life. I wish I could, no, I, I knew can. it. It's up to you. Your nobody's decisions, gonna everything, you. nobody's gonna judge you. I didn't think that, like, cause I, people have their opinions, but I'm just happy that you guys are open to talking about it. Of course! How are we going to be part of your opinion? Because I know other people would judge and hard, hard and I, at least I know That's that you guys like... are all like there for me. The Amigas go to a photo shoot and Eileen decides to drop a bomb. So Eileen, how are things with you and Ruben? We want to move out. Wait, no. wait, 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 what, 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 what was that? Mom. Where is this coming from? There's just like a possibility of like his family moving and he like wants to stay behind because he wants to stay with me. Like where? We just want to move out. That's, it's not easy, but it's, it's doable. Armando finally asks out Brianna and they go on a double date with Eileen and Ruben. Love Briando. The family takes a trip to Palm Springs. But when Ruben shows up to surprise Eileen, Rick confronts him about their plans to move out. Hi guys. Well look, I have a question for you. She keeps talking about, I want to move out. I'm very young, I want to do this, I want to do that. Like, do, well, you, do you think the same way she does? Or what's, what's your what's your I date? feel like getting my, like, my degree first, and then moving out. It was like, kind of shocking for me, because that has never came out his mouth, and usually when we're together, he's always talking about like our future, so it totally like just confused me. Then Eileen and Ruben have their first big fight. So basically, I wanna know Off, Eileen decides she and Ruben need to revisit their fight, but it doesn't go as planned. So we just turned a year, right? Yep. And like, I just feel like you just need to be more honest with me because, like, we have been talking about moving in with each other this whole entire time, and then like the I fact that you. Yeah, I should have been honest. I just don't want it to go into more things, and that just like really upset me. It makes me look like I'm crazy, like I'm just like the one pushing him to do all these things when really he agrees with me. That's my dream too, is moving with you, but. Like, that's too early. I will still have my plans, like, with or without you. Like, if you don't want to move in together, that's fine. Yeah, that's you don't have to be a part of them. Now that I've heard how he feels, I will redirect my plans in the future, even if that means him not being a part of them. Rihanna comes to Palm Springs for a photo shoot with Armando. You look beautiful. Thank <laughs> you. And Lourdes doesn't make it awkward at all. You never smile pictures, and right now you're like, <laughs> because I see you in the corner of my what? eyes. I'm not doing anything. I'm just looking at you and you're all smiles. Rihanna, you should be in more pictures more often. <laughs> Eileen's love life may be cooling down, but Armando's is heating up. Eileen invites her friends over for a party, but will Ruben show up? Yeah, yeah who's coming other than us? Like... I think Armando invited some friends. I don't really have guy friends because, you know, Ruben's not going to let me. <laughs> but. Speaking about him, like I'm wondering if he's coming or not, because we kind of got into it in Palm Springs. No way. Well, yeah. Because he was just like, he like just lied to me about some stuff. Well, I still have not heard from Ruben since Palm Springs, and it's like annoying at this point because I kind of just want to see like what's going on. I mean, Armando's coming. No. <laughs> at least one Padilla's love life is going well. Is that Ruben? Maybe I spoke too soon. I just want to know like where we stand right now. I don't want to leave you. 
We just need to communicate with Yeah, I just feel like our communication skills need to be better next time because... Just figure things out. Figure things out, like, right on the spot. Because I don't, like, I don't being like, away yeah. from you. Well, I'm we going to apologize since I'm the mature one in this relationship. So I just want to say sorry for overreacting. I'm sorry, too, because I, I wasn't communicating with you. But, I, you know, I do want to live with you. But not like like not right now. But okay. Yeah, I totally get it. Like, Next time we should just communicate. Communicate. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Season three was truly a roller coaster. No, a zip line of emotion. Drop a comment with your favorite moment below. And remember, treat every day like a Lord is on a zip line day. Do you think it'd be weird to just show up at one of their parties asking for a friend?